So you are welcome. My name is Abiola Samson. Uh, I want to say thank you for your time with us. You see, the word spent time is money. So we recognize your efforts. So without further ado, let's enter into series three, unit one, which is engagement. So we want to engage, and the first app we want to engage is called Build Boss Three. Look at it. You download it, Build Boss Three. And if you don't, you are finding it very hard to download. You just go to just go to your Google and type download build boss. It's free of charge. Download build build boss x3. Download build boss x3. So the version that works with the phone, but I guess I guess it can crash your phone the next three days if your RAM is not okay. So I think the minimum RAM that you need to have to make use of this conveniently on your phone is 6 gig. So but if your RAM is four, you can still manage. But anything that your, your RAM is below three, in the next three days your phone will crash. Well, so I said the app we're gonna use is called VBoss. You go to Google, type download VBoss free, you download it like this. So you install it very easy, just click it. It's one way run, you run as administrator. So when you run as administrator, it's okay to install. So if you are finding it very hard to download it, just comment below. I'm gonna put you through how to download it. And if you're finding it hard to download, I can send it to you through the comments, put you the link. And as well, if you're finding it hard to install, I can still put it through. But because of our time, let's just dive into it. So let's assume now that I've clicked it, I've installed it. Let's look for it on our... So I will look for it on my window. Let's look for people on my window. So most times it's advisable for you to open it as administrator. Let me run it. I'll click yes. So our app has opened. Wow, what a great app. So when you enter, the first thing you're gonna do is that this app is to you will create a profile. I've already created my profile. You click create profile, so they will add to information. As you basic setting, just how uh, many mini, just little little setting that is not really something to worry yourself about. So I created one. That's why my name is Chukma Sophia. So in this place, they they have versatile of opportunity. We have tutorial. You click here, you watch different tutorial, but you must be connected online before you can watch those tutorial. And we have templates, different templates you can use. What you pay for, those one that you, you, you will not pay for, you just want from, from little clicking and you design a game within your minutes. That is very, very powerful. But you can't do that if you are not connected. See, all of them is blank. It's blank. They say, come as sex offline. So you must, that's why I said the next class, we're going to connect online so that we check those easy ones before we check those easy ones i will take you through basic way of designing it okay so this eye is going to open it's going to open to you like this so you have two options that you pick template and just edit it and put your picture put your this in sharp sharp maybe you want to work with clients they are powerful games here you want to work for clients and you want to do some fine things so you just pick character pick the color pick everything you want and you just do a game very very fast it is for client but for teaching purpose now i will not take you through template phase i'm just about to take you through how you can design from scratch how you can design for scratch so if you want to design game from scratch what you are going to do is you will create new game you create what new game so So you, you create new game. What did I say you create? You create new game. How, and how do you create new game? You click file and create new. That's what I just did. You click file. You click file and you create, you click new. I'm sorry, you click file, you create, you click new. I repeat again, if you want to create new game, come to file, click file, click new, and you'll be brought to this place. So if it's 2D game you want to create or 3D game, when the dispensation is 3D game that is really, you know the difference? 3D is a game that is having a lot of graphics. And you know, 
it's, it's, it's colorful. But 2D is just this basic game that is only having two sides. So these three simply made the, 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 uh, the game or the app you want to create can reflect in three different ways. So it's only in two ways. So let's go to 3D. So we ask you, do you want to save change? Uh, I was doing something before. I can try to save. It's gonna open like this. So this is your app to create. This is this is the software. Let's say this is the window. This is your window to create a powerful game application. So this place is what we call our top bar. This place where we have your file, edit, run, view, tools, add box, app, account. So we have is what we call what our top bar our top bar t-o-p our top bar so basically file you look at anything you drop you see what the functionality is in file you can open create blah 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 save project in edit maybe when you make mistake you want to go back you want to run do you uh, run maybe if you design your app you want to preview the app to see how the app will be working you come to this place preview, preview beg your pardon and you see what you want to do so view, you can view your animation, you can see tools that is available here and your add bonds, that is your setting, help, maybe you, you are lost. If you click help, if you are con connected, you can really contact the producer of this box. Then we have account. This account, if you that is, look at my name now, this is my name. If when you are um, when you are logging in, you will ask for your email and Gmail. So this is my account now, Chokma at Gmail. Third, come. Yeah. So then this one, we call it control bar. Control bar. The next bar is called control bar. The next bar, control bar. The next bar is called control bar. And there are how many number? One, two, three. So the first one, this one, this one like this. Just watch my cursor. This one is called design. No, sorry. This one is called home. This is your home. This is called home. The first one is called home. This bar, they are called control bar. This one is called home. Then this one is called design. This one is called home. This one is called design. Then this one is called 3D wall. So let's do a recap again. What is this one? Home. This one. Design. This one. Okay. That's very, very good. So now this other this place from here you see this place now from here downward we call it walking tools walking tools all these ones we call it walking tools we still understand how they work they come from all this place downward walking to this other place that way we have our access like this access library when you click it for example you bring it to a place like this that's where you can pick like Character. You see the first page I showed you, you saw somebody running. So you see different cartoon like that you can edit. And if you can create your own like, let's assume like me now that I'm an animator, I can create cartoon. I can create my own cartoon that looks like me. But I'll bring it. So that person that is running now, you just say, ah, Dr. Viola that is running. <laughs> so that's why those that are learning cartoons, so it's an advantage. Okay. So, like this person that is running now, and the way you bring all this kind of character is you bring them from this asset, you bring many things from asset. All these ones are 3D shape, like right? those basic shape, like all these things. Okay, maybe you want to make use of shape for now, is where you bring them. Okay, so I say this place is called what? What is this place called? If I saw two boys, no, not two. So this is walking to walking to so this place is called our mini display mini m i n i so this place is called what mini display this one is called mini display so then this one they are called control pellets control pellets control pellets all of them Control pellets. 
or adjustment pellets. So they are called what? Control pellets or adjustment pellets. Control pellet or adjustment pellet. All these ones, that's what you use to, to adjust this thing. Like for example, now see, if I click here, you see now that arrow is showing. So I can move it, I can move it anywhere I want. I can move. Okay, look at it very well. If you observe this thing, you discover that this thing is not touching ground. So normally, if I put this, I can bring it to the ground to touch ground. So it's touching ground now. This game now, eh? this is the code place, your window space. You see a line here, from here to here. That is the only size at which your game can work. But if you really want to increase the game, if you come to this end, as you want to increase how long the game will look like, you click this end, you see this place now, you cannot move it backward. So this one, I can bring it close to this place, so that the game will start here. Move it here so that the game will start from this place. So now, eh, after I just did this simple part, after I'm done with this simple part, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to define what I want this skill, which is my character, what I want it to do when somebody is playing the game. So I'm what to do now is whenever you click this, you click here, you go to this one what did i call this two when you go to this two may like see what i did i click this one when i click this then i go to this design may like go to design look at what design is showing me so take note immediately you click that or two any or any character you want to use if you go to design if you are not seeing start they call this start mode what did i call it start mode if you didn't see start module and 3D module, that shows your character did not work. So please be very careful of that. Before you start any design, click it, click the character, go to your design, check it. Is it going to work? So if this tool is not showing, that shows your character will not work at all. So now I've confirmed now that my character will work. confirm that my character will work so i can give design start designing my character so the first design i'm going to give to my character is i will come to this place this is your character i will click it it will show me all the old function of the character if i remove it from dynamics you see this that this stuff it will just be good look at this one if i click this one you can rotate this thing if i click this if, I, if i'm not satisfied with the size of my character i can adjust it Okay, so they are called control pellets. I'm no, sorry, they are called adjustment pellets. Adjustment pellets. Okay, so this one, what is one? They, they, are, they are called screen control. Screen control. Screen control. This one is called screen control. Or screen control. The meaning of UI is user interface. UI is user interface. This one is camera. How you want your camera if i put 2d now and the game will look like 2d game look at now you see now so the game you know this kind of game that is not too colorful so this is 2d if i put it if i if i remove it from 2d if i remove it from 2 now this one is 3d or this one is 2d a reflection of 3d this one is camera okay so now let's start with the work abby let's do something Let's try to design a particular work. But before then, this place, this side, eh, this is what we call skin, screen control. Screen control menu. This is what we call screen control menu. This button. So that this is where you can create many, many screen scenes. Like if I want to create another scene now, you click add. You see the scene is created. Eh, and you rename them as you still understand what it's so let's do a project let's do a project this one is called um, this place is called string 
um, sorry, skin. This place is called Sin Manu. Sin Manu. Yeah, you can create parts, create part points. You will understand all of them when we start working. So quickly, let's start working. Let's assume that I want to. Work. The first thing I'm going to do is, if I want to work, merely you, you, you come to this place. You create new. You are here like this. If you want to work, the first thing is, you will make. The first step to work to create an app, a game application, is you will design or you will define your character. You do what? You design or you define your character. So for now, I don't want to import any character. Let me just use this one first as my character. If I want to use this as my character now, what I'm going to do is, since I click it now, it's showing the boss here. You get it now. So I will take this boss. To this place that they wrote your character i will move it this cube i'll move it to this place called your character so you see now but i'm now making it my character so let's assume now that this is not this is one i want to use so this one i'll just move it i'll drop it here it's going to become my character so anything you want to use as part of this picture if it's uh, like cartoon you come to video you select that one bring it here as your character but take note, I, I make mention of something that this asset library doesn't it does not work. Asset library will not work unless you are connected. It's not gonna work unless you are connected. Okay. If you see if you see the way it is, there are a lot of varieties, they are very plenty. Have you are you playing a game before that? When you are playing the game, if the character hit something. The, the, that character will gain coin. Have you seen something like that? For those kind of characters, look at the example. That's where they wrote coin. Any character you want, and when the character wins, you should gain point. This is the name you see, and they put coin. Okay? So let me just go back to where. Okay, so this is it like this now. So the first thing I'm going to do, or well, the first thing I did was to make this cube my world, my character. So you can play now. If you, you like you can play what you have done to see how far you are working the arrow and the con control so like if i click here now i want to play or preview what i've done really see how far the game looks like okay So it does show that when somebody is playing the game, this is how the environment will look like. So this character now, I've not put any animation, I've not determined what is going to do, how it's going to do it, blah blah blah. That's why it's just static like that. Okay, so let's start defining. So immediately, immediately I I I, I click here now. Do you discover something? Immediately I click this screen. It brought something like this, right? Immediately I click here now, it brought something like this. When that is, I click the screen, the screen brought the information of the screen. So I can save the first screen as maybe level one. Now, if you are playing some game, you see level one. That's why they are getting it. So just change the name. I can put this first screen as level one. If I like it, I can have my own picture. Maybe if you are playing the game, them to go navigate this environment. You can put like Bishop Noah's picture. Like if you want to put a picture as part of your text, you want to make it the background, you want to use it for this background. You see this place? The right texture. That's where you will click. Or you go to your or you go to your picture on your phone. Or you go to picture on your phone. On your phone or your system. What have you? Okay. Let's say for example, 